Hello. Just over four months ago, I videoed the start of this trial. Today, we're going to video the end of it. Okay. But to get you up to speed and so that I don't have to repeat myself and tell you what this trial's all about, we're going to skip now to the video that I shot all that time ago. Watch that piece of video, then come back to me and see me do a four pot potato reveal. Okay, the only reason these guys are standing up is because they're leaning against this wall. If I move them away from the wall they'll fall down. Uh, so what I'm going to do, while you're away watching the first part of this video, I'll get the wheelbarrow, I'll get the scales, I'll um, take the tops off these potatoes, we'll do a reveal, we'll do a weigh-in, we'll get a result. So stick with this video right to the end. See you later. I nearly forgot to mention, this pot on the end has actually split. Check this out. That can only mean one thing. This pot is bursting with potatoes. Let's hope the others are as well. Right, now let's um, get ourselves sorted while you watch the first half of this video. Hello, today I'm going to start a growing trial where we use different growing mediums to grow the same potato to a conclusion. And then when we harvest those potatoes, Perhaps one growing medium uh, is much better than the others. Maybe not, but let me tell you what we're using. This growing medium is simply soil from the garden. This is soil I've used year after year after year. Um, I think in the US you probably call this stuff dirt. So in this pot we've got dirt. Okay. What we're talking about here is what I collected this morning. I scraped this off the forest floor. I went up to my local woods, put a pair of gloves on and scraped this up. And so it's a mixture of uh, forest bark and wood chip and leaf mould. This pot here um, contains compost that came from a bag. And that compost is 50% peat. So that's a peat based compost. This compost here was made locally and it's recycled green bin waste. Uh, this is what goes to the recycler and comes back as compost. Okay, so we've got four growing mediums. Now we need four potatoes. These are the potatoes we're going to be sowing. This is a potato called Cultra. And here at homegrown veg we like a level playing field. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that each of these cultra only has three chits. So we'll take that one off. And that potato now only has three chits. The three chits growing together there and one on its own. I'll take this very small one out. If I can, yes I can, and that potato now has three cheats. This potato has four viable cheats. We'll just take one of these small ones out and we'll leave these, these three to grow on. Okay, so that potato now has three cheats. Last potato, I'm sure we can leave three chits on this, we'll take that one out and I think we'll take this one out on the side, we'll leave those three on the top shall we, yep. So that potato's now got three chits, so we've got 
four identical potatoes, Coultra, as, as identical as we can get them. Okay. Right, now what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to add some blood fish and bone and some 6x concentrated farmyard manure to each of these pots and then we'll sow the potatoes. Okay, here we go, this is the garden soil, this is dirt. This is blood fish and bone, you've seen me do this before. And this is 6x concentrated farmyard manure. Hey, come out of there Molly. Yeah, I know it tastes great, but leave you. Good girl. Excuse me. I'll just give that a quick mix. Okay, we'll pop two inches into this pot. Hey, come out of there. The sour seed potato with the three chits on. Pop that in there. What we'll do is, because those chits are fairly tall, I'm going to put this over the seed potato. Hey, come out, Mom. And then I'm going to fill this. Okay, can you see that? That's the top of that container, it's upside down. When I jiggle this out, the compost will work its way in around that seed potato and we won't break any chits. How good was that? How easy was that? Right, Mop. Let's fill this pot. Okay, garden soil, and if you're in the USA, dirt, one seed per seed of sown. Okay, I'll pop that to one side. Right. This is what came off the forest floor this morning. Look, bit of stick in there, there's all kinds in there, but for growing potatoes that's fine. These, these sort of things aren't an, uh, an issue. If you're growing carrots or parsnips, you'd take those out. Um, right, a little fish and bone. Six X concentrated farmyard manure. This won't take long. A good old mix. Right. Let's get that pot in there. Two inches in the bottom. Looks like two inches to me. Seed potato, three chits, sat on it. Cover it up with this. And fill the pot. And don't worry about breaking chits off because it's protected. See if we can find the top of that container. There it is. Jiggle it out. How's that? Come on, this is on the edge. Can 
Can you hear that blackbird singing? Isn't that beautiful? Right, this is the commercially available compost, 50% peat. Um, right, two inches, a bit more. Cultra, three cheats. Bish bash bosh, get in. Oops, protection. Protect that seed potato. Look, that's how it goes. Seed potatoes under that. I don't know if you're getting this. Seed potatoes under that. Just chuck it in. Can't down the seed potato. It won't damage those cheats. Not if you do this. Pull this out. Have you got any preference? Have you any idea which of these growing mediums will be best for growing a potato in a pot? What do you think? I've leveled the plane first as best I can with, with the fish cheats and with the um, blood fish and gold. So the only difference in these pots is the growing medium. Isn't it? Everything else is uh, equal. Hey Molly, come out of there. She's eating the compost out of one of these pots. Right, what's this one? Oh, this is the uh, recycled green waste, isn't it? This is made by a farmer just up the road, he's diversified. It's a big word, isn't it, for homegrown veg? Diversified. Yeah, he's diversified. Now well, these tend to have sticks and bits and bobs in there, but for potatoes, no problem. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. We've gone astray, hold on. Put that back. Uh, what do we do here? No, I'll tell you what we do. We'll carry on with this one. Hey, I need to go back to that last one because I didn't put the blue fish and bone in, did I? And you never told me, Molly. Too busy eating it. Right. One. Had you noticed? Had you noticed I'd missed the blood fish and bone? Ah, I bet you're ready with a comment. Ah, oh, you missed the blood fish and bone on that third one. <laughs> well, I'm going back to it. Right. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Wait a minute. We'll empty that two inches out. We'll do it right. That's it. Now put that two inches in. Cultura, three cheats. Get in. It up. Okay. Now this is the one that we didn't add any blood fish and bone to, so we're going to try and get this seed potato out without breaking the, any of those three cheats off and we're going to do it right There it is Ah oh, yes! One, two, three Right Molly, you keep an eye on me, will you? Instead of eating that blood fish and bone and that 6x, you're supposed to be keeping an eye on me. Now 
now we've got that level plane further away. Take this out. Bob's your uncle, because this is an homegrown veg. Okay, that's it then. How was that? Hello. This is my best compost for growing potatoes trial. The trial's been running a month now and these are the four growing mediums that I'm trialing. Before I tell you the growing medium in each of these pots, let me tell you something about the potatoes in the pots. The potato in each of these pots is a potato called Cultra. I removed all the chits from the, each potato except three, so each potato had three chits on it. To make this a level playing field and because some of these composts I'm not too sure what they actually contain in terms of goodness to grow a potato, I did add uh, the same type and amount of a fertiliser to each pot. Each pot had some blood fish and bone added and it had some 6x compost added, dry farmyard manure. Okay. Hello Molly. Hello. Come to see what's going on. So this potato here in, in 48, this potato is growing in soil. And I think you'll agree it's looking okay, it's got away okay. And it's not much further on than this potato in 49, which is growing in forest floor scrapings. Uh, that's something I collected from the environment. So we've got soil, we've got forest floor scrapings, and they look about even, Stephen, would you agree? OK, now this pot here, 50, this is a, a compost, a store-bought compost, uh, and it's a 50% peat compost. And yet, that potato's not looking too bad either. In 51, we've got recycled green waste. And I think we might have a dud on our hands. Nothing shown yet. Um, but these guys have only been in here a month. Um, so we'll give this one a little bit longer. Then we might uh, do an investigation. We might empty it out to see what's gone on. Uh, but not just yet, we'll let it go. Um, so yeah, these three look even Stephen so far. This one looks as though it might be a dud. Thanks for sticking with it. I think we've got ourselves sorted now. Uh, I've got the batter in place. Uh, got all the pots, taking the tops off. Molly's on standby in case there's a spare potato. I think we'll go um, in reverse order. 48 was the pot that was split, that's the one with soil in. We'll go to the other end, we'll go to 50. Okay, we'll take that one first. Let me just remind myself what this is. Yeah, this is a 50-50 peat-based compost. So this compost is 50% peat. Okay, this is the type of stuff you'd buy in a bag your local store or shop. Let's see what this guy's got. Well, I've got to tell you this compost is a lot darker than what I'm used to. Um, and it's that way because of the peat I guess. Now, we'll pop these potatoes in here just for the time being and then we'll get them back out again. Um, okay, we have potatoes and we have very wet uh, compost. Um, but you'll know that through watching my videos this year that rain has been an issue here at homegrown veg. It's never stopped. Apart from the day when I'm doing this reveal. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, now what's going to happen here is uh, we're going to do that weighing, of course. Obviously, then you you'll go and get on with something else, and I'll have this uh, compost to do with. Um, but what I'll be doing is it'll get mixed. It'll finish up on the top of the raised bed. We'll use it again next year. Okay. Now then, let's have a look. It's our delivery. We don't want that guy. He's rotten. Okay. No, I think he's okay. Right, so that's what we've got. We don't want that guy either. Oh, that little titcher. Right, and there's some titches for Molly, so she'll be okay. So that's 50% peat. Okay. I'll pop these guys back in here with the ticket, then we don't get mixed up. Just empty these out in this tray. You leave them, Molly, you don't want those. Ticket in. Where's it at? It's in my pocket somewhere. 50% peat. We'll pop this here. And so that Molly doesn't stick her head in there and eat any of those. How's that, Molly? Ha ha ha! Right. What have we got here? Oh. This is um, green waste. This is the stuff that you put in your bin that the uh, that goes to the recycler and then it, it, it's turned into compost. So we'll put this green waste ticket in my pocket and we'll see what the green waste delivers. Put that there for the time being. And as you can see, they've all got the same amount of water, these guys. You can see that uh, this pot's really wet as well. Um, I'm surprised that I haven't had more potatoes that have gone rotten. That's a seed potato with three worms in it. Can you see that? Three worms in that seed potato. Just leave that molly, we'll sort that out in a minute. There we go. And you can see that these are all the same variety. You can see the characteristic uh, pink markings on them, I hope. Let's leave them there, Mop. Pop them in this. Um... Well, I don't know about you, but that looks about even Stephen to me. What? From that first. Um... Oh, here we go. Oh, that might swing it. Just that one uh, bigger potato. Right, pop them there, pull this back here, and bring these back here. Okay, that's the uh, green waste. Oh, there's one on here, a small one here. Don't worry, Mole, there'll be one for you. Ah, keep out. And none of these guys have gone soft, not like that uh, big potato in the last bucket. But hey, that looks like it's taken the lead to me. Let's pop these in here, Mol. Just like this. Now oh, hold on. Where's that ticket? My pockets are going to be filthy, Mol. I'm going to have to stop putting these tickets in my pocket. Pop that on there. And we'll pop that on there. Right. What's this guy? Instantly recognisable forest bark and wood chip. Is that what it says on the ticket? Yeah. No, it doesn't. It says forest floor scrapings. So this is simply stuff that I've got down on my hands and knees and scraped. Oh, I like the look of that. This is stuff that I've just scraped from the forest floor. I went up to our local woods, got down on my hands and knees. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho! Hold on, I've got to tip this up and show you this. Wait a minute. Wait a cut and pick a minute. Let me just see if I can 
make this a bit more hey hey come on how's that looking those three look enormous we haven't even got them out the pot yet can you see the shape of that pot let me I haven't got a pot handy to show you but that's supposed to be round I think you can tell that isn't round is it this guy is wanting to burst this pot right forest floor scraping so it actually costs nothing to put this pot up did it I just went and collected this stuff from the environment oh look at them guys oh hey hold on I think we might have a winner oh we might have a winner here oh some small ones as well Wolf. well that's forest floor scrapings now I don't think we've got as many there but we've got some buttes just like them all so look at this And just those few small ones, look, I won't put those down. Hey, that's going to be there or thereabouts. Um, but still, I don't think there's a clear cut winner yet. I don't. Oh, did I put that in my pocket, Molly, that ticket? My pockets will be filthy. These guys are going to have to go in the wash. Where are we at? Forest floor scrapings. We'll pop this on here. I just want to go. Just this one to go, then we get the scales. Let me get rid of those. Right. This guy. Remind me on where I put this, I'm putting it on top of there. This guy is pure and simple, soil from the garden. Now it's soil I've worked with over the years, and uh, so there's got to be some goodness in there. Where's that split? Did I tell you there was a split? Hey, hey, look at that! You can see that potato, look. That potato's wanting out. That potato split that pot. Can you see it? I hope you can. I hope you can. And that's interesting, remember these guys had three chits on? One, two, three. If you, if you want to scroll back in the video, you'll see all the others had uh, produced three, I think. One, two, three, right. This is the one you've all been waiting for. Sold from the garden. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Can you see that split now? Yeah, I'm sure you can. Look at it. Yeah. That pot is jiggered. <laughs> I don't think you'll see 48 again. Right. Oh, now this pot is a lot drier. Hey, wow. That one wouldn't make a cut more. Just leave it, sweetheart. Here, you've been good. Oh, sorry. You got it? Uh, let's see what we've got here. Yep, we're starting to get potatoes. Whoa. Oh, we're getting a few potatoes. Soil from the garden. Hey. That guy's not going to make the cut. That guy's... Hey, what a shame. The size of them. Those two aren't going to make the cut. So we need to mess about with those which has probably lost it for soil um, but hey wait a minute whoa got that guy right oh and another Yeah, that guy's not going to make it either. Oh, and that guy's not going to... Oh, man. Saul would have actually walked this. The problem is, all the rain we've been having, it's, it's screwed this up, to be perfectly honest. You know, we've just had too much rain. Get out of there, Mop. 
Good lass. Right, let's have a look at these guys. What do you think? Okay, the only ones going on the scales are the ones that they're edible. No point in putting the others on, is there? We'd just be kidding ourselves. Right, we'll pop these in here and then I'll put the scales on this barrel and we'll do a weigh in. I thought you were going to remind me. I'll just give my hands a wash before I start with the scales. We're going to go with um, soil first. Okay, Let's see what we've got here. So the year of year with your potatoes. Any good? We've just had far too much rain. I know I keep harping on about it, but if you're a gardener, these things are uh, important. I suppose they're just as important to a guy that fishes, aren't they? Is there enough, is there enough water in back, in the river, to fish? Anyway, see what we've got here, Mol. Can you see? Oh, that's two and a half pound. Two and a half pound. Can you remember that, Molly? Because I'll forget it. Two and a half pound. I'll have to watch this video back, then put some text on. Otherwise, I'll get this wrong. Right. That's soil. Two and a half pound. From one seed potato. Okay. We'll just pop that there. We'll leave that ticket with it. Right. Ooh, what we got here? What was this? Can you remember? This was forest floor scrapings. So this was the one that actually cost nothing really. I didn't buy anything to go in here. I just um, went and got down on my hands and knees in the local woods and scraped some stuff off the ground. And this is what it's produced. And I've got to say, these potatoes are the cleanest of the lot. Yeah. Oh, and that titchy ones. A few titches. Molly will Molly will uh, be okay on those. Right. What we got? Oops. Forest floor scrapings. Let me come round. That's two pound, isn't it? That's two pound. I think I prefer this two pound. Well, that's two and a half pound to be honest. They're a much cleaner potato. Look at them. They are a much cleaner potato. No, I think I prefer this two pound to the last two and a half pound. But anyway, um, where are we at there? What's this? Hold on, Mal. What's this? Grain waste. Right, so this is the stuff you throw out. This is the stuff you, your garden waste that you put in your bin. And the guys from the council come and collect it, take it away. It goes to the recycler. And um, they turn it into this grain waste compost. And these are fairly clean as well. I mean, they look dirty because this compost is a blacker compost than the, and it sticks. Whereas the forest floor scrapings didn't. Right. Let's see what we've got here, Mol. Oh, this is a tail end Charlie so far. That's about a pound and three quarters. A pound and three quarters from green waste. But hey, they look a decent potato. They really do. So we we're happy with that one, Mol, I think. Yep. Hey, you need not wait any longer, you up there. OK. 
Okay, last one. I hope we haven't run out of it, out of film because this has been a bit of a long haul, hasn't it? Yeah. You'll need a cup of tea after you've watched this one. Maybe a stiff gin and tonic. <laughs> right. What are we on here? Fifty percent peat-based compost. Right. So this is the stuff you'd buy at the shop. Stuff you would uh, bring home in a bag and use. 50% peat based compost. Oops. There's another titchy one for you, Mal. Right, 50% peat based compost. Let's have a look. Two and a half to beat. Wow. Just over two. So, what was it? What got it more? Was it the first one? Was it soil? Just garden soil, two and a half pound. Yeah, I think it was. But I've got to say, I think the quality of, of these potatoes, um, particularly the, the ones that grew in the forest floor scrapings, same a better quality potato. Anyway, that's it. That's the end. Finito Benito. Um, I'm not too sure that we have got a conclusion here. There certainly isn't a... I wouldn't think there's a standout compost, would you? Let me know what you think. Um, I don't think there's a standout compost here. Uh, some of it was purchased. Some of it was um, foraged in the environment. Cost nothing. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, so for me and Molly, this is homegrown veg. Signing out. Right, Mol, we'll pop these in here, lass. And we are going for a brew. And there's a biscuit for you because you have been a good girl. Come this way, come on. <laughs>